Sup nerds, I'm about to play a game on light chess, looking for a game, 10 minutes each, 10 second increment, let's see if anyone joins, I got a nice highlighter on my cursor now so you can see what I'm talking about, who wants to play, who's up for a game? Could play this guy. Oh, I'm in, I'm in, baby. Oh, yeah, I got white. That's a good feeling. All right, progress. C4. All right. Bring my knight. I don't want him to get D5. I hate D5. I'll even go the length to play E4. Oh, that's a new one. See, yeah, cool. Um, could go queen here or attack it even better. Yeah, where are you going, buddy? Or are you gonna defend yourself? Okay, see how this boy's under attack. Defended, very nice. Does he? He doesn't even want d5 now, it's not helping him. Right, yeah, I want to play knight f3, but I don't always pawn to kick my knight out, so I do d3 first. Maybe he just develops his knight here, so then he can kick it. I can pin his knight though, if he goes there. I checked how long OHSB is my opponent. Oh, Queen, okay. Maybe he does want to push now. Just deny his plans if that was his plan. Okay, so now. That knight ain't staying there forever. Mixed up his bishop e3. Oh no, I can't yet. Can do that. But better is this, so I don't open up my king line. Next up is bishop e3 again, but the knight can't kick it anymore. He might go c5. Okay, just trades. I'll still probably go bishop e3. His bishop. Okay. Bishop can only really go there. Thinking queen. This break seems pretty nice now. Give my queen some more squares. Thinking, um, F4 in the future. His best option probably is not to take my pawn here. If he just leaves it, it seems okay. Because then he can later play his rook to C8. And then, well, can't really do much there. I'm looking at C6 now if he does nothing. If he plays bishop d7, I can't do that, but otherwise, that looks pretty powerful. 
He can't take. But I don't know if there's much point in me taking. Maybe I gotta go a4, a5, and hammer a pass point in at uh, b7. It'll take some time. What's that? Oh, my rook will be undefended. I can abuse his timing here. It's too... Um, he can't take this pawn. His queen's under attack. So I'm abusing that his queen can be attacked early. And then I might play h4 next. Oh, you can't take this anymore anyway. So there's still... No way for him to get at me there. So now c6, oh, I gotta play the a pawn first. I wanna go a5, push, take, take, push. Right. Just stopping all that nonsense. Pawn up seems pretty good now. He can't take it because I'll. Oh, he can take it. My queen gets a nice square though, and I'll win this pawn next, so not really. And if he doesn't take it, I'm going to go a5. And then I want to take it and go. A6 next, and I have A6 and B7 pawns. I can't even think about taking it next move because his um, C7 pawn is attacked by my queen if I take it. Maybe should go queen e7 here. What else is he thinking of? The position's blocked. What about d5? I'm a genius. Pawn takes, bishop takes. Takes, pawn takes, pawn up. Queen up. I think I gotta let him get that one in. So now I can do this. There, rook is there. Because if I go here, playing castles. Pawn is a pawn, but I did that, so at least my queen has a place to go if he plays um d four immediately, so I don't, like muck around. Rook d8 seems best here. I can even throw in a queen check. Oh, but then bishop. Oh, no, then I'll take this pawn. But then bishop and rook are lined up. So he can move his bishop to here, say. <laughs> I can't... Uh, I think I'm trading queen for bishop and rook. Might work. I 
Oh, if I check his bishop, can't stop if I check on c6, because I'll take his queen next move. Right, so he has to move his king. He can only move it to... Um, well, f8, or else I'm going to take his c7 pawn with check. If he goes f8. Then I can take c7, then he brings king to g7, his king's pretty good there, his rooks are together, so it's not bad. Think about an f4 break now, because I want my bishop to line up with his queen on the a1 to g um, h8 diagonal. if he takes with his g pawn I'll have to bring my rook to f1 first so I can take with my rook and queen takes oh I can do that immediately off I can go rook f1 next pawn up rook take yeah because the queens line up with his queen So if he goes rook b8 here, then check, then takes, or I can just take immediately, but then he can castle. Mm, he can't take my pawn on b7 because I'll fork his queen and his rook. I mean, his king and his rook with queen c6 check. So I can be slow and play a5 and just like slowly defend it if I really want. Squeeze him. I'm looking at h4 now. h4, he can't take with the pawn and I am threatening him. That seems pretty powerful. Oh, not really. Because he can take with his pawn and then his queen's defends in the h4 square so my rook can't take back. That does leave his e5 pawn open though. But then he can check me on the back rank with h1. And then my king will have to come to d2. And he can just castle. Is he going to move or what? Oh, I can go queen c6 and then e takes... D, yeah, d5, and his bishop can't take back because I'll take his queen. Then his bishop has to move, and I'll win his queen next move. Right, that's a big threat. No wonder he's not moving, he's got a lot to think about. So I think. Oh god, I think he's stuffed actually, I think he's gone here. I don't see a defense against queen c6, e takes d5.
Well, that's game. Just got one minute to make a move. He's still online. He's still got the green boss. I think he's really trying to figure out because he can't do anything. I'm going to take his rook and no matter where he moves, I'm still going to go queen c6. Even if he blocks with his rook, I'm just going to queen with check and then win a rook. Forty seconds. <laughs> Should I stop the recording to save some time? <coughs> or is he gonna make a move with two seconds left? Either way, he's dead. Alright guys, thanks for watching.